Okay, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Topic number 15 is on capacitor bank protection. Yeah. So capacitor protection. So before knowing the what kind of protection that we require, let's see on the typical problems that the capacitor face. Lah. So capacitor problems, uh, overheating due to harmonics, failure to, due to excessive voltage and poor ventilation, lah, which is a cooling issue and heating of the capacitor and eventually once overheat, it will deteriorate the in insulation and flash over or short circuit lah will happen. Eh? So harmonics on capacitors. Eh? So if you are using a capacitor bank in a system with a lot of uh, harmonic equipment such as uh, VSDs, variable speed drives, uh, UPS, uh, uninterruptible power supply or any uh, static VAR compensators. So uh, this uh, harmonics can affect the capacitors. Huh? So a capacitor offers a low harmonic impedance. Huh? This is the impedance of the capacitor. Xc equals to 1 over j omega c. So if you can see, let, let's say in the system you have a lot of uh, 12 pulse uh, VSDs. So the 12 pulse normally will produce a lot uh, high 11th and 13th harmonics so if you initially had tuned your uh, capacitor banks to the 11th uh, harmonic which is 11 times 50 hertz uh, about 550 hertz so if you calculate here one over uh, if you input here 50, 550 hertz so xc here will become almost uh, zero lah. so as if your capacitor is going to short circuit so your capacitor will become a sink to this harmonic currents. Eh? So what you can do is that you add a series resistors. Eh? So normally this one has already been uh, designed by the power factor, manufacturer, power factor regulator manufacturer that produces all these capacitor banks. So make sure if you are using this at a 11th or 13th harmonic, make sure you detune the reactors for example maybe to the 10th harmonic or to the 14th harmonic or other than 11th and 13th lah. so that any harmonics that is already in the system will not affect your capacitor operation lah. so in this case fourth harmonic lah. so this is most probably for a VSD with a 6 pulse rectifier which will produce uh, 6 pulse plus minus 1 fifth and seventh harmonic uh, so it will be high fifth and seventh harmonic content for that system. Lah. So you detune your capacitor bank to, to the fourth harmony. Okay. So capacitor voltage rating is normally higher than the rated bus bar voltage. So actual capacitive compensation may be lower than the rated bar. For example, lah. this is not really related to protection but just for knowledge. Lah. For example, if the rating of your capacitor is 500 volts, 500 keva used in 400 volt system. So if it is used at 500 uh, volt system, you will get for exactly 500 keva. But if you are using at a 400 volt system, the effective keva actually is only 320 keva. So this is the typical rough calculation on how to estimate the actual var. Uh, being uh, used depending on the uh, voltage used. Lah. So if you actually want a 400 volt 500 keva in a 400 system, so you must make sure you buy a 400 volt 500, uh, 500 keva or you can buy a 500 ke volt uh, capacitor but the keva may, may be higher 600 keva or higher. Lah. So then only you will get 400 keva at 400 volts. Eh? So in this case, when we are using this uh, rating of capacitor banks, you are only getting 
320 keva which is about 80 keva lower than the desired rating of uh, 120, 180 keva lower than the 500 keva lah. Okay. So this is the effective keva lah. So this is uh, uh, on the detuning reactor. So this is a detuning reactor. So this detuning reactor will uh, offset the or detune the frequency of this capacitor bank lah. So how how much you want to know it's being detuned is one over square root LC. That is the de, the detuned frequency lah, or the resonant frequency of this capacitor bank. So you must make sure the resonant frequency of this cap capacitor bank one over square root LC is uh, differs lah, differs from the harmonic frequency of that system lah. If it's high on the fifth and seven, make sure you detune it to the fourth harmonic or eighth harmonic, something like that lah. Okay. So protection for capacitor bank over current, we may use uh, IDMT and high set over current relays, or we can also use protection by fuse. So internally of this uh, capacitor bank, there is a relay. Uh, that, sorry, not relay. There is a fuse. There's a lot of fuse. Huh? Uh, there's a lot of fuse. Uh, so all this fuse will. Uh, uh, Will fuse lah or melt once the the current is over current happens lah within this uh, capacitor bank ah. As you can see here, there is one one component here. This is actually the internal resistor of the capacitor bank lah or the high voltage unit type con capacitor. Ah. So this one is uh, to discharge the capacitors once you switch off the capacitor bank ah. So normally you have to allow 10 to 15 minutes before this resistor successfully discharge all the uh, remaining uh, uh, storage uh, apa, ca charges within the capacitors. Eh. So this is uh, the one with the external fuse. So you have your capacitor banks here and you also have your line fuse uh, and for this one is the, the one with the unit fuse for each capacitor bank. Eh. Okay. Capacitor unbalanced protection. Eh? So this is a star connected capacitor. So under normal condition, if your capacitors are healthy and working, uh, working uh, norm normally, the star point here will have only zero current. Eh? Zero current. So let's say one of your capacitor is shorted or open circuited lah. So there will be a current circulating here lah. So this current may go back to the ground. Or if there's a short circuit, go back to ground. And this will trigger the voltage sensing relay lah. Alright. And this is also another type of uh, unbalanced protection between two star points, uh, two star connected capacitor banks. So if it, if there's any one of the capacitor bank being shorted or open circuit, so there will be a current flow within uh, through this relay lah. So this relay will, if the current is high enough, it will uh, trigger over current and uh, trip the capacitor bank lah. Okay. So this is a capacitor unbalanced protection. So if you think this material is good, please share this material to your electrical friends. Uh, and do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Clark Sophie E. And then my Facebook page, please uh, like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Clark Sophie E. And if you have any other questions, please throw, uh, throw them in the comments below or you can email me directly lah at clarksofee at gmail.com. Thank you. Huh?